Let's solve a few uh, definite integral problems. Um, so this first one, we've got the definite integral from negative 2 to 3 of x squared minus 4x uh, plus 2. So um, what I have here, this of course is my function f of x. So we need to find the antiderivative capital F of x. And um, so to take that antiderivative, uh, first, if I've got these three terms, I can just take the antiderivative of each part separately. Uh, when I take the antiderivative of x squared, that's a power rule. I know when I take the derivative, the power goes, uh, comes down in front and the power goes down one. So to take the antiderivative, the power has to go up one. And then we have to remember that business, well, uh, if it's going up one, then I need to divide by that new exponent. Because the idea then is if I would take the derivative, this 3 would come down in front, and then the 3's would cancel, and I'd subtract 1 and get the x squared. Okay. Um, for the 4x, the same sort of thing. I would increase the exponent by 1, but then divide by the new exponent. And then the plus 2, the antiderivative of a constant, is just 2 times x. And then we're going to evaluate this expression as x goes from negative 2 to 3. So um, that's what this notation means. So now I'm going to take this value of 3, plug it in for all the x's, and then this value of negative 2, plug that in for all the x's, and then subtract those results. So if I plug in 3, I get 3 cubed over 3 minus 4 times 3 squared over 2 plus 2 times 3 minus, and now I plug in negative 2, so I get negative 2 to the third power over 3 minus 4 times negative 2 squared over 2 plus 2 times negative 2. And now it's just a matter of uh, simplifying, so I get 27 over 3, 4 times 9, 36 over 2, plus 6. I get negative 8 over 3, minus 2, negative 2 squared is positive 4, so I get 16 over 2. 2 times negative 2 is minus 4. So we get 9 minus 18 plus 6 minus negative 8 thirds, minus 8, minus 4. And now, let's see, so 9 minus 18 plus 6, plus 8 thirds, plus 8, plus 4. Remember, this minus has to get distributed to all those parts. So, if I put all this stuff together, 9 minus 18 is negative 9. Negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. So I want to get a common denominator. So 9 times 3 is 27. So I get 27 thirds plus 8 thirds, so my answer would be 35 thirds.